Buenos Aires is nicknamed La Reina del Plata, the Queen of the Plata River, in a far corner of South America. About a quarter of Argentina's 42 million residents live in the sprawling metropolis. Bienvenidos to the beloved capital of Argentina. Buenos Aires combines European architecture with a Latin passion for soccer, juicy cuts of meat, and of course, the tango. Buenos Aires was established as a gold and silver port in the 16th century and was named after the fair winds that blow in from the ocean. Thanks to its fine weather, wide avenues, classic hotels and restaurants, this South American city really is a breath of fresh air. Buenos Aires was shaped by European immigrants and you can see why it is nicknamed the Paris of South America. The Spanish colonizers brought their trading skills to Argentina, making it one of the richest countries in the world. Since then, the fortunes have faded, but its splendor remains. Buenos Aires is now one of the world's cheapest capitals. The melancholy that comes with the city's fading riches resonates in the sweeping lament of the tango music. Sit down for an alfresco lunch in the harbor of La Boca, where this famous dance originates. The many eccentricities of this former immigrant ghetto are preserved at El Caminito, the country's most famous walkway. While in the harbor, also tour La Bombonera Stadium, where soccer legend Diego Maradona began his career. The city's other neighborhoods are so diverse that the Argentinians will likely all point you somewhere else if you ask them what to see next. Some will send you straight to San Telmo to score souvenirs in the patio shops of rustic colonial buildings. Browse the historic neighborhood's artisan markets for collectibles and antiques and listen to live music. Others will recommend the redeveloped Puerto Madero. Modern parks and contemporary architecture complement the preserved remnants of the port's glory days. Everyone agrees that you can't miss the Plaza de Mayo. The balcony of the Casa Rosada at the Presidential Palace evokes memories of the scene in the musical Evita featuring a waving Eva Perón. Learn all about the country's legendary First Lady in the Evita Museum in the Palermo neighborhood. Her life story reads like a fairy tale, a poor actress from the country who married the president and became the heroine of the working class. Upon hearing the news of her death in 1952, hundreds of thousands of admirers gathered on Plaza de Mayo. The diva's tomb is the most photographed grave in Argentina, though the resident cats of La Recoleta Cemetery do their best to steal the show. Take a small detour to Malba in Palermo, this stylish Latin American art museum provides a glimpse of the past and a warped view of 20th century designs. To get back to the city center, follow Avenida 9 de Julio, the world's widest avenue. Test the acoustics of the impressive Teatro Colón. Afterwards, line up for a tango show or drinks in nearby Café Tortoni, which has been a local icon for more than 150 years. This grand café is close to El Cabildo, the Spanish colonial Old Town Hall. Its central bell tower looks out over the Metropolitan Cathedral, also on Plaza de Mayo. Visit the tomb of General José de San Martín. The Liberator statue decorates Plaza San Martín in the Retiro neighborhood to the north. 
While here, pause at the somber Falklands War Memorial before touring the awe-inspiring National Congress building. End your day with an evening stroll in Puerto Madero. Dinner is served late at night and in this rhythmic city, you can stay out to dance until the sun comes up. It's hard not to fall in love with the jewel in the crown of Argentina. All you have to do is look at Buenos Aires to know that every word about this city is true. <laughs>